Hi, I'm Greg with Spades Painting, and today I'm going to teach you the art of gel stain glazing. I've already finished this one. This one's been kind of finished and stained, um, but I'm going to show you how to do it uh, start to finish. So let me just put this away, and we'll get started. I like to use uh, some paint cans with uh, covers on them that way it's up off the table and I can work on the edges and get to all the different places if it's on the table sitting flat it makes it kind of tough to work on so that's why I have it on the two cans there today we're using the old masters gel stain uh, I love this stuff it, it works really well you get a nice even finish and I'm going to show you how to get that nice even finish so start you're going to have the gel stain if it's a little thick you can put a little paint thinner and stir it up to thin it down a little bit sometimes it makes it a little easy to put it on uh, i like to have three brushes with me one is my application brush uh, that i dip in the stain this one is a floating brush so i can just float out the stain and make it nice and even um, and this one obviously is a dust brush so i want to make sure all the crevices are clean before i get started from sanding and uh, we have to move along fairly quick because it does dry um, but you do have a, quite a bit of open time too so you'll see how I kind of move along on this you don't want to like paint the whole thing you just want to paint sections now in the crevices here you do need to get into the crevices and you'll see that I do them first and not the center of the board because we don't want this area, this area and this area tend to get dark because the grain cut. So you want to do those kind of last and you want to keep it light so it doesn't end up too dark and get blackened from the grain. So we want to push it into the grain and you'll see I'm kind of brushing fast. I don't want it to dry. It does take a little while for it to dry so you do have time but I just prefer to try to keep things moving as fast as possible. Do a section at a time. And I'm actually not putting it on too thick. I'm putting it on pretty light. Now I'm going to take cheesecloth. It's a pretty heavy duty cheesecloth. And use that for wiping. So the best example on this is it's kind of going on like shoe polish. That would be the best example. You want to work it in. You don't want to push too hard at first. Just let the stain do the work. And wipe it off as you go. You just want to push it into the grains. And you'll see there's some highs and lows, but that will all come out. And then you can see these little spots. Just work it into the grain. And then as you get it lighter, you can push a little bit harder to get into those little grain spots that are not quite taking it. And then once you get that center part done, start working your edges. Start working soft and then kind of push it into the grains. And then don't worry about it being too thick on these edges right off the back and see how it wipes off. That's the nice thing about gel stain over liquid stain is the liquid stain just penetrates way too fast and you end up with a blotchy finish. This gives you a lot more control. Like I said, it's kind of like shoe polish. You're just like polishing it on, wiping it on, making it as dark as you want or as light as you want. So now I got it to this point. Now I'm gonna take my feathering brush and start feathering it out to get any lines out of it and to kind of make it a nice smooth finish. We don't want brush marks. We don't want anything in it. We just want it to have a nice even finish. Only the nice natural grain of the wood. Now, with that, at this point it's pretty good. It's looking great, but I can see some highs and lows that could probably be done a little bit better. So I'm going to take my dry gel stain brush and kind of just lightly feather in with a very dry, it's almost like it's dry brushing literally because you don't want to put too much stain on. All we're doing is just like kind of feathering out these light spots here. It's kind of like a woman putting on makeup in a way, I guess. I wouldn't know I don't put on makeup.